is cracking down on the former owner of a local car dealership. Now last year our on your side investigation team got complaints about Riverside Chevrolet. Some told us that they would trade in a vehicle to get a new car, but the liens on the old vehicle were never paid off. On your side's Troy Kless is live outside of the old Riverside Chevy with more on this. That's exactly right, Katie. This scam targeting mostly military personnel and seniors would leave them on the hook for two car payments. Now, again, this is a scam that, again, the On Your Side team looked into and were able to help the Attorney General's office look into these particular complaints. Now, as a result, over a million dollars in restitution was paid off. So those people that had two car payments, the car payments on the old car were paid off. So those come, this comes after at least 26 complaints were filed last year because those people were dealing with financing issues. And as a result, some had their credit negatively impacted because of the scam. Attorney General Ashley Moody said today that this was auto fraud at its worst. Unwittingly, buyers were purchasing or trading in vehicles, getting new ones, and then were on the hook for two cars. Oftentimes this happened to our seniors and in instances of military personnel where it affected their security clearance. Now again, the owner, uh, Andrew Ferguson, and the old people that were associated with that scam are not gonna be able to sell cars anymore, and the car dealership here is under, under new ownership. So coming up on First Coast News tonight at five and six, we're gonna hear from someone who came to the On Your Side team and was happy with the results of this investigation. We're live in Riverside tonight. Troy Kless, First Coast News, On Your Side.